Pontiac. Fiero. You got it, Pontiac. Hi, and thanks for checking out my very first Fiero fixing video. In this video, I will show you how to fix the rear engine cradle bolt on the 88 Fiero. This is only for the 88 Fiero. The rear cradle bolts on the, these cars were not welded very well and tend to break when you try to remove the bolts. This video will show you how to fix it using Rodney Dickman's rear cradle bolt bracket. Check it out and please like and share because girls can do car, car videos too. Hey guys, uh, thanks for watching this video. Um, and today what um, I'll be doing is I'm going to be doing working on a um, engine cradle mount here um, and on a 88 uh, Fiero and so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to cut a three inch up and down and five inch side to side and I'm going to be putting on these brackets um, so I'll be uh, getting the cutting in just a minute and um, check out my uh, YouTube channel um, on YouTube and uh, that's if you wanted to see other things like not car related then you can definitely go to my YouTube channel Team Odina so check it out and subscribe leave some comments below and let's get started before we get started cutting um, I'd like to show you the original uh, brackets that were in the uh, Pontiac Fiero. And Pontiac messed up because when they, uh, when you take out the engine, the uh, brackets, um, uh, the, weld, the welded part breaks and then it starts to spin. And then what you'd have to do is you'd have to cut the bolts off of the uh, bracket and then you'd have to replace these um, these uh, brackets with um, new brackets and that's what these are going to be used for and so let's get started uh, hey guys uh, sorry um, we meant I meant uh, uh, two inches to five inches um, so what we're going to do is um, I'm going to measure the pieces and make a line so I don't forget. And I'm going to be using this white crayon because it's easier to see. So here, so uh, my dad finally actually came out, so he's going to help me measure it. Okay. So I'm gonna make And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the lines. Okay. I've connected the lines. And so now I can see where I have to cut. And uh, it doesn't have to be perfect as long as you are able to make sure the brackets fit. Okay, so let's get started on to cutting. Let's do this. Okay, now that we've got the cutting done, we're going to use the pry bar and bend the metal down. And there we go. So now what we're going to do is we are going to take the driver's side bracket and we are going to measure it up with the uh, passenger side, um, just like that. And so these holes, we are going to use them for to bolt them down, um, uh, and we will be we will uh, measure the part so we are able to know where we get this measured down, and then um, we will drill it in and 
We'll see what happens next. So now what we're going to do is we are going to draw the circle for where the bolts, uh, where we have to drill. And so there we have it. So we are going to use the drill bit uh, 5 16 and we are going to drill the hole um, and let's get it done. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to drill the second hole and let's get it done. to grind off the extra welds. Okay, so now that we've got the inside here um, smooth, we are now going to use the uh, paint um, to prevent it from rusting. So now what we're going to do is we are going to uh, take this bolt here and we're going to uh, screw it into the bracket and then we are going to take the bracket and put it and line it up uh, with the uh, bolt hole. So screw that in there. So we're going to take the spacer and we're going to stick it in the uh, side holes and then we're going to take the bolt and we are going to stick it up in the hole that we drilled in the frame and then we are going to um, take the nut and we're going to screw it on. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use a half inch wrench and we're going to tighten the bolt in the uh, bracket. Okay, now we can remove the guide bolt. Um, so this is what it looks like installed, and if you, uh, then you have to bend the flap back up. Um, if you want, you can weld it or you can leave it alone. Um, and if you want to see um, more of my videos that are not car related, go to my YouTube channel, T Modina, um, and subscribe. And if you liked this video, please uh, comment, subscribe. Um, we hope you like this video. Bye.